The brave leader of the savages rushed forward with an arrow and thrust his spear into the body of the rhinoceros. Then he was knocked away by the angry rhino with his horn and fainted. At this moment, the cowardly savages kept calling out to the leader, and the rest of the savages took the opportunity to quickly go forward to dislike the rhinoceros. In return, the rhinoceros attacked mercilessly. Fuming rhinoceros turned back toward the fallen leader rushed. Suddenly, the chieftain got up with his teeth bared and rushed at the rhino with his spear. With a puff, the rhinoceros terrier fell through the spear into the snow. When the chief got out from under the rhinoceros, not relieved, he stabbed the tree furiously at the rhinoceros' head again. This time there was enough food to last them for months. When the rhinoceros had finished eating, the savages targeted the sheep again, the wild men on foot to drive the sheep to the companion of the ambush beforehand. See the sheep step by step approaching, the wild man blew the whistle, and the other side of the companion echo each other. Seeing that the time was ripe, 